Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. Uh, here we're going to learn how to take the inverse of matrices that are larger than two by two matrices. Now, the uh, technique we're going to use here is very, very powerful, very common. You can apply it to matrices of any size, including two by twos. Typically, what we learned in the last section to calculate a two by two matrix inverse is kind of the cut and dry way that we teach introductory students to take inverses because it's bulletproof and it's easy. What we're going to do here is learn how to use row reduction techniques in order to calculate the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix, but you can apply it to 4x4s four and 5x5s. Five five you can even apply it to 2x2 two two if you want. But the point is we're going to use this method to find the inverse, and then we'll check our work and make sure that we're getting the right answer. So in this case, the matrix that we have is 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. This is our matrix, and we would like to find the inverse of this matrix. Um, now, there probably are techniques out there, you know, you could probably go off and look, I know that you could go and look, and find a mathematical formula, you know, like we did for the 2 by 2 to calculate the 3 by 3. But then what are you going to do when you get to 4 by 4, and 5 by 5, and 6 by 6? You know, you're going to have formulas for everything. It's just going to get cumbersome. So what we're going to do is apply row reduction techniques to be able to find the inverse of this matrix kind of that's extensible to matrices of different size. And the way you do it is you set it up as follows. You set up an augmented matrix. You write the matrix that you're given on the left. 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. You put your dotted line here, all right? And then on the right-hand side, you put a identity matrix. So you're putting ones along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Effectively, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the inverse such that when you multiply the inverse matrix times this one, you're getting this on the right. So what we do is we set up our matrix with the, ma the, the augmented matrix with what we're given on the left and what we're trying to get to on the right. So let's use row reduction techniques to attempt to make the left-hand side of this augmented matrix look like an identity matrix. And when we get there, whatever has happened to the right-hand side is what the inverse is. That's the technique. So I'll say it one more time. We're trying to manipulate the left-hand side. We're doing row reduction techniques on the whole thing, but we're trying to make the left-hand side look like the right-hand side currently looks, like an identity matrix. Once we've achieved that, then whatever has happened to the right-hand side, by definition, is the inverse of the original matrix. All right, so let's go through it, and we've done you know, this process enough with equations that you should be fairly comfortable with it. First thing is we want to put a one up here and we already have that. So let's leave the top row alone. 